Hey, well, good morning, guys. Happy Labor Day. It's a beautiful day in Nashville. Robin and I just got back from the Greenway, and I decided to take a little walk up in my front yard. I've got a fire pit up here. I'm kind of cleaning up around, getting ready for that fall weather so I can strike a fire up and get those s'mores going. <laughs> Hopefully there's some sugar-free s'mores out there. I don't know. I'll let you know what I find out. Every month we have a theme in Iron Sharpens Iron and the community. And this month is no different, and we're saying how to make things happen. I released a blog post this morning. It went out in our newsletter about how do you make things happen, and are you making things happen? Now, I want to be the first to tell you, uh, there's areas of my life that I need help with. There's some areas I feel like I kind of got it together, and I've got the discipline to do the things that I need to do. But one of them has always been, for me, that's very difficult, is exercise and watching my diet. And I've enlisted a couple of guys, Vincent Puglisi and Ernie Lansford. Every day I have to send a text to those guys to tell them if I'm sugar-free, fried food-free, and bread-free. And I'm going to be honest with you, it's been a month today. I started this four weeks ago. I'm down about 14 pounds. I feel a lot better. I'm exercising. But I'm going to be totally honest with you. I wouldn't have done that had I not enlisted a couple of accountability partners. And I'm going to tell you, there's some things I don't need accountability in. There's certain things in my business life. There's certain things at my personal home. There's certain things I don't need accountability. I've got the habits already instilled, and I'm happy to do them. But I'm going to tell you something. When it comes to diet and exercise, I've got to have somebody in my camp besides me. And so these two guys have helped me immensely. Now, I don't know what it is for you. Maybe it's working. Maybe it's things around the house. I don't know what those difficult things are, but we can't remain in isolation. We've got to get out there and get the help that we need. Be transparent. Just tell people, hey, I don't get it. I don't know why I'm this way, but I can't do it on my own. And I just want to encourage you to enlist those people. Don't be too prideful not to do it because you're too lazy or unwilling to get accountability in your life. I want you to accomplish the things that you want to do. And this month, how are you making things happen or happening in your life? Uh, if it takes accountability, then go do it. We're reading The Impact Equation by Chris Brogan. And in it, he really lays out a nice plan how we can make the transition and make things happen and have that huge impact that you're wanting to do in your life. Well, I don't want to get on you today. I want to encourage you, and I want to encourage you to make things happen. Don't be that guy that says, well, tomorrow I'll get to it. You know, next month I'll get to it. Maybe later on in the year. First of the year I'm going to do this. Listen, today is the day. Today. This is September the 5th. It's Labor Day. Go in there right now and grab your spouse and go, hey, today is the day. I've been putting this off way too long. Things around here need to get done. I need to get myself in shape. I need to exercise. I need to make more money, pay off that loan. Whatever it is, I don't know. Today is the day we need to do it. And the, the hard part is starting. Once you get started, it feels good because you get momentum. Those first five pounds for me were like, oh, my gosh, I'll never make it through this. It's the same way in everything we do. So are you making things happen? Today, put a stake in the ground and make things happen. I'm Aaron Walker, View from the Top. I hope you have a great Labor Day. Enjoy it with your family, and I'll be seeing you around this week. Have a good rest of the day. We'll see you.